double red armor denying that from Abek and also getting position, getting controlled on the map to take at least one yellow gave him a big advantage. And this is also going to be another kill. Uh, Abek throws that one away. Kula looking for some good spawn shots. Uh, he just took the mega. He's fast enough to get up and now he's got Abek cornered. What can Abek do in this situation? We have to see as uh, Kula does pressure and pick up the kill and look at this. Here's a nice red armor for him as well. So that's a big, big lead he's got now, I would say. Even though it's two frags, is a very important one because it puts real pressure on Avec to do something fantastic to come back in the game. We've got only four minutes remaining. Kula firing the rockets down towards that middle yellow, but I don't think he uh, quite realized that Avec was over to the other side. I think Avec's actually dropped Ooh, down here towards yeah, this red armor. Yeah, he's trying to challenge the mega. Oh, yeah. He did do so, but he lost the mega, but he won the, the red armor. So Avec has actually done really well because Kula doesn't have much of the mega available uh, but what Avex done wrong here he's given up position on the top yellow uh, Kula's able to get both he shouldn't have allowed him to do that he could have rocket jumped up with the LG ammo he's had to kind of push Kula away so I would say a small mistake uh, from Avex he's gonna challenge and there we go Kula pushes him down and if Kula wins this red which he looks like he will this is tough for Avex he I don't know how he's gonna defend mega but he's gonna try his best there we go. Mega health up in two seconds, and Kula will come in with those rockets. Avec makes a jump and he will pick it up, but there's oh, yeah. no LG there for Avec. Big and Kula will make it 6 3 with three minutes to go. And uh, he gave himself, like, it was so crucial that when he dropped down um, trying to get the red, uh, that was his big play. Had he been able to get the red, he definitely had a bigger advantage over the Mega. And now he's doing, like, desperate kind of pushes. He's looking for some burst. Um, you know, a lot of like quick damage onto Kula to kind of nullify some of his um, his health and armor. Um, you know, to, just to make sure he can come a little bit closer. But I definitely think Kula is um, grinning inside his uh, position on the map. Red armor pick up if it goes to Kula. Avec won't have much time, and he knows it. That's why he drops. And this is good for Avec. One more rocket could finish him. But look at this. Kula's plasma gun pushes him away. But Kula's in such a bad place. Avec picks up a really important kill. And he did it with um, 88 health remaining after the armor pickup. And he just stole the only yellow that Kula can get. So Avec should take the top yellow as quick as possible and, and then move center map and try and get on the red. But I think Kula's on the red right now. No, he's not. That's interesting. He's gone already defensive. So we have to see if um, Avec is just going to have to chase Kula. Mega picked up here and that's great LG work. Avec running out of rockets in a horrible moment. We've just hit the two minute remaining point. But he's Avec got both yellows timed. Yeah. He should take both yellows. He cannot afford to give a yellow away before a red. He needs the armor stack to push uh, Cooler around and get those free frags back. Rocket spam here as that red armor is available. This is risky. Avex going in for the frag rather than going for the armor, That's which he will good. collect. Big and payoff. it's now a two point difference as Avex races over towards that mega health. He knows now where oh, Cooler he is. He's knocked him down, and Cooler's going to be in trouble. Avex trying to take oh, that health away. Up, He's up. happy enough to have done that Could damage. Have go. And Cooler wouldn't risk that one. Oh, but, but he was so thinking low about health, it. Surely, yeah. 24 HP. And those 50s aren't in play, and Cooler's, Cooler's literally going to have to run. Yeah, Amic is chasing him. He just walked into the LG room. He hasn't come out yet, so Kula um, has got away with his uh, what you can call is his life because he hasn't got much of it. There comes 42. Amic's going to surely finish this one off. One more shotgun will do it. He turns to the LG and he brings us to a one-point game. Red Armor has spawned. There are no yellows available yet. Avec is a little off on his timing. He's got to watch out for the damage that Kula can throw down from the top. If Kula hits... Oh, this is a brilliant trade-off here for Kula. He just took the Mega. Avec has position on one of the yellows. I think Kula might um, try and get to the top yellow. If he lets Avec have it, Kula... No, here he is. He's going to be pushed away. But he did get it, so that's a big pickup. Now the red armor is the most important item, I think. Uh, if Avec takes it, which he will, Kula has to defend, and I think Kula might just try and run the, the score down now. Here yeah, comes here we Avec. go. It's defensive Knows all the way. Knows he's got to go in and you know, help that LG out of position. Avec does have Kula cornered. Let's switch to Avec. Although he's you know, kind of health and armor stack not as big as the Russians. And we've now got 10 seconds remaining. Kula trying to hide away here by the oh. staircase. Failed rocket jump. The second one will get Avec in position. There's a good defensive rocket from Kula. He's gone. Who's he's gone. now running away. And Kula is going to pick up the fourth map here. Six to five in the end. And he will go through into the grand final of the Intel Extreme Masters World. World Championships for Quake Live. Yeah, Kula, what a story as well. He came back into Quake Live and he 
pretty much said, I've got the motivation now to do it. And each time he went to a tournament, it was also close to make it into the grand finals. But finally here, where it counts at the Intel Extreme Masters World Championships, he's made his way into the grand finals, beating Avec from Poland. There's a hug with uh, manager from Mouse Sports, uh, Youngus, and I'm sure he will shake hands when Avec's ready. And I, I would like to see if this camera is going to uh, allow us to see if there's going to be a, a handshake as Kula idles his uh, way over, it seems. And, well, I mean, Avec uh, has played fantastically, and there is a, a definitely a cheeky grin on uh, Kula, and is, that's his brother there with him. And there's Avec as well, so they will, they will uh, talk, and I'm sure there's been a handshake. And I, I think Avec, he was a really, really unlucky in a way, because he hesitated too much in the final moment. He rocket jumped up and fell down. And he should have taken advantage from the rocket jump and falling down, um, and actually run round and chased uh, Kula, uh, but he didn't. So he rocket jumped up again, which allowed Kula to stay in the same position. And that really messed him up. And look, they are definitely having words, these two. And I think Avic is very, very angry. The body language not looking uh, uh, too good there between the uh, two. And I guess, well, we won't see him play this season at the Intel Extreme Masters. But I guess there could be a big grudge match for next season. And I'm sure Avic will be ready. And the two players getting ready to the next matchup. You can see there, that's uh, Rafa going up against Cypher. So Sirius Gaming still have a chance to put one of their players into the grand finals. But also, America have already won the World of Warcraft Championships. They don't have uh, a team in the uh, CS, but they could have a second pickup here, which would make them the uh, most successful continent if Rafa can do it and take the victory. We'll have to find out in a little bit, though, because he's still got to beat Cypher in the semifinals.